Good morning, passengers. Thank you for using Ride Mick. The weather outside the cabin is 32 degrees and bullshit. What is up, peoples of YouTube? I'm the Motorcycle Mick, and today we are talking about the Milwaukee 8. Before we get into that, if you are new to this channel or been watching for a very, 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 very long time, I'd be much obliged if you could hit that subscribe button down below. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday around 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Please excuse me while I turn off OME.TV while recording the YouTube's the videos. But we are talking about the Milwaukee 8. It is a motor that has seemed to be plagued by a bunch of issues, but only for the touring models. Don't tell anybody. My soft tail 114 is doing just fine, no problems. I would knock on wood, but it probably hit that telephone pole. It is something that people have been asking questions about. And the biggest one I found so far is why is my Milwaukee 8 something oil? Well, there's an easy solution for that. And yeah, all right, there we go. So there's an easy solution for that. And it's because your motor's not getting enough oil to cycle through it. Ta-da, problem answered. Why is your Milwaukee 8 touring model something it's because your motor can't get enough oil through it. The biggest solution people are offering right now is the fact that, oh, the reason my Milwaukee 8 something is because my oil pump's not pumping enough oil. It can't get enough through the system. That could be a possible problem. It's something that got enough evidence going behind it that T-Man created a little plate that you take off your whole, like you tear your motor apart to put this little plate in and it supposedly it solves the issue and it's not the solution that a lot of people are really trying to go with. What a lot of people are saying is that it's the oil pump that's causing the problem, and it's not. People are saying, oh, I put in a high flow, high volume oil pump, and it's still something. And that's because if you aren't getting enough oil into your return, then that's not going to pump anything out but air. And then when you pump air through your pump, A, you can mess a lot of stuff up, and two, you're going to create pressure in there so that even if oil could pump through the pockets of pressure would keep it from doing it oil is supposed to cycle through the whole motor and when you don't have that then you start creating these issues but going back to why this issue only plagues the touring models and not my beautiful soft tail the reason being is because of the different crankcases my crankcase is different than that of a 114 on a touring model and the compression everything like that the cranks all the same but my case that my crank is inside of is different. Whatever they did, which I believe is actually just more oil passages, lower sump on the bottom, but so beneath my crank, there's that little area where oil sits, the return, or the sump little, what do you want to call it right there? I don't know. I want to call it an oil pan, but it's like a oil sump area. But mine is a different shape than that of a touring model, and I, I brought that back to depth, because the depth of mine seems to be a little bit taller than that of the touring models, and that, that separation between the crank and the bottom of that sump pan is what's helping my bike put oil through the system quick or better and that's and like I said this is all based on factual information along with a little bit of assumption because until you tear this motor apart until you tear a, a touring model motor apart which T-Man has done so I've seen video of it you can't really guarantee know exactly what is actually causing the issue but the whole reason T-Man designed that is because the crank is throwing a lot of oil and it's not getting to the return where it needs to go it's sitting low enough to that little sump area that it'll throw the oil before it can actually get into the return and if you look at the video of that the return hole to the oil pan which is located underneath your transmission is just one dinky hole and I feel like the reason that the soft tails had that is because you can visually see that there's more oil returns going to my oil pan underneath the transmission. So the easy way to think about this is, is that you're sitting there drinking like a Frosty, okay? And you have two of the same Frosties, and you and a friend start drinking the Frosty at the same time. Well, everyone knows that, you know, in theory, in a perfect world where you have the same everything, you're going to drink that at the same time. Now, if you add a second straw to your friend's drink, and you start drinking, and they start drinking... Obviously, the one with two straws is going to go through quicker because you have twice the volume going through it, and it's easier to 
should continue drinking it quickly because you aren't having that whole time to like create that pressure back in your system to get it up through there. That's why I believe the soft tails don't have that slumping issue is because in theory, without anyone ripping apart the crankcase, just basically visual examination of the crankcase, I have more oil channels running through my motor to return that oil back. Start throwing oil in your motor, it keeps that area lubed up, but you don't get any return oil to run through the rest of the motor. And with these new Milwaukee 8s, there are oil-cooled versions that require oil to pump through the block, through the heads around the plate, the exhaust valves, spark plug area, to be able to cool it down. Now, I don't know how well that works, but it does. I mean, I've noticed a considerable difference in heat versus my Sportster, which I know is not really a good comparison to you guys, but I'm working with what I got. Let's say you have a gap like this beneath your crankshaft, oil can flow back into that single hole. But when you put it down to this and you have a single hole, centrifugal force is, I mean, that's the term of the video, centrifugal force, which is an outward acting force on something going in a circle. So like you've seen the video of the kid on the merry-go-round that's on it, has a, a motorcycle spinning it or some ridiculous friend spinning it, they're gonna fly off at some point. If that crank is throwing oil up and it gets on everything, it's gonna be keep throwing it out and up. And yeah, you're gonna get some oil there, but you're also gonna, not get oil to return and what you really want is oil in your pan to be able to have your oil pump go through and pump back through your motor now with this issue existing if you do decide to go with a high volume pump you're just going to be pumping oil rapidly but you're not getting that return so you're really not creating a solution for your problem but the reason those high pressure oil pumps aren't doing anything is because you can pump your oil all you want into your system but like i said you're not going to accomplish anything if you're not getting oil back into it. And the reason the whole sumping issue is occurring is not only just because of that throwing and the centrifugal force, it's because there's not really a vent, but there is a solution. And like I said before, T-Man's solution to it is ripping apart your whole brand new Milwaukee 8 and putting in a little plate, which... <laughs> Are you really going to play that game? Are you really going to take your brand new motor, pay someone a thousand dollars to tear it apart, put that little plate in, whatever it requires, and put it back together? To some people, it might be worth it. To other people, it's not. And there's an easy way to relieve that pressure. Because there's not, like I said, there's no pressure release. Just like an air pump, okay? Think about it that way. The easiest way to put this is just, think, just like an air pump. When the compressor turns on, it's putting all that pressure inside the cylinder. Then when you decide to take the air chuck and depress that, the pressure in the system drops. Well, that's what you need to do to your bike because there is a way to relieve the pressure within your motor because everything is tied inside the motor. And the easiest way to do that is to do something with your oil cap. There are companies like A1 that I guess do have these that are like $80 for it. Or you can create your own solution and drill a hole into your oil cap, thread something, you know, create, use a tap, thread it in there and thread in a breather for it, allowing your whole oil system to release pressure. You're not gonna lose compression because your compression happens within your, your jugs, your pistons, and your heads, all where your pressure is. So you're not gonna lose any compression off of it. It's just like a car that puts an oil breather on there to be able to relieve pressure throughout the system. And honestly, I've not done it yet. I don't need to because my bike said has all the different oil channels that help it whatever reason why because I'm my pressure doesn't get held up in there that I have a whole system it goes through with the touring models you can do is take your oil cap off kind of look at it figure it out drill it tap it and put a breather on it that's the cheapest method that's what you should do ripping apart your motor to do that is meh but when you have no relief that pressure oil can't flow through because it's pressurized and just like with an air bubble in a system like it, like for people who understand cars or fuel systems if you get an air bubble in your injector it will cause your injector not to proper function properly because it's not going to get fuel there it's got to exceed that air bubble by venting the oil system you're taking that pressure out of there and allowing your bike to cycle oil and then you can if you want to put a high pressure oil pump in there but from my experience and what i've seen i mean that should not be the fix so to put this whole situation together the reason you're Milwaukee 8 is something is because of pressure and because of oil being thrown. When you have pressure in the system, oil can't escape through the hole, then it's throwing the oil everywhere and you're not getting any oil, really any oil back to your pan, which is where your oil gets pumped through back through your motor. And so your motor, you know, your crankcase has the oil in there, 
but it's not getting back to your system run through everything else because if you don't know these milwaukee 8s also have oil cooling on them for the ones that don't have the water cool oil runs through the heads and you get to have all that pressure in there to keep it going so what you need to do is vent your oil system that is the solution the 100 percent solution to your sumping issue is to vent your oil system relieve that pressure inside the crankcase relieve that pressure from the oil system then you can put your high flow oil oil pump on there and get your flowing go going like you want but your a pump in there is not going to help anything because you're only going to pump as much oil of you as you have going through it and if you pump it faster you still don't have oil in there to pump it faster so it doesn't really matter you're just making your something happen faster but i hope this was helpful maybe next we might cover the primary transfer i'm not 100 percent sure what yet i mean i'm i like talking the milwaukee eights because it's a new motor and there's not really much you know we're still learning quirks and just like every other motor it hardly puts out sometimes it takes a little time granted this is a big issue i think we could do really good with it these m8s are monsters they just have to be treated right and a little oversight was kind of what led to this the sumping issue everyone talking about it but for now guys that's all i have if you did enjoy this video after i go over this speed hill Leave this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not part of the Make Mob yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Oh, puppy wanted to pay or attack me. One of the two. Let me know if you've had issues with something on your bike. And if you had a solution you found for it or the dealer was telling you a solution or whatever. Let me know down below. And as always, I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, afternoon, tea, brunch, lunch, nightcap, midnight snack, bagel, bacon sandwich, McGriddle. And remember to always ride for freedom. Look deeply into my light. Let it come over you. And hear me say, goodbye. Hey, this shit is old school. They say I'm not supposed to, but don't make my own rules. Dog, this shit is old school. Yo, bitch, man, that's so new. She been on my whole crew. Yeah, that chick is ran through. Ha. This shit sound like old tool Pull up and I drop the roof And that bitch a old school These niggas actin' brand new I just keep it old